one so today I thought I'd go ahead and do the video which in my first video in my London haul I said that I was thinking of doing and that's a what's in my bag video it's with this bag if you watch my London haul which is my first ever video which I'll link below this bag is from Urban Outfitters and I got it in the sale for £20 instead of £48 which I was very happy with it's nice and big and has got three compartments well three main ones now this is the bag that I actually use for college so college is the English equivalent of your last two years in American high school and I'm doing A levels um, so I have a, I carry around way too much stuff more stuff than I actually need but hey ho, I am a teenage girl. Um, so I'll go ahead and start showing you what's in my bag. Now, some of the things I'm getting off the floor not out of my bag, just because um, I used it yesterday and I didn't use this bag. Um, but I'll show you where I got it, where, where it comes from. Okay, so the first thing is my phone. Now I actually use my phone to video because my camera is a bit weird with videoing. And it comes out of this compartment. I'll show you the things from this compartment first. Now the bag inside is like this. So there's a main compartment here, which has got my books in, and then two popper compartments, like that. And the first things come from this compartment here. And the first thing, as I just said, is my phone. Now I can't show my phone, but I'm gonna show you my phone case. Now I've had this for, had, I got this this January, so at Christmas it'll be about a year since I've had this and I kind of need a new one. And I'll just show you a close up. Now some of you will have heard of the brand Instagram, and that's what this is from. And I have an app and also a website. And what you do is you log in and you link it up with your Instagram or your Facebook. And then you can use them to make a phone case. So all of these are, well, then they aren't all my Instagram pages because at the time I, had, I, had, at the time I made it, I had an Instagram for about a week. Um, but if I make it again, it will be all of my Instagram pages. And as you can probably see from the sizes, I have an iPhone 5, which I had at Christmas. And I absolutely love this phone case. I get so many comments on it and so many people um, who want to look at it and like just sit, sit there staring at it for about five minutes trying to see if they can see themselves or people they know. And these are great, they, they're a little bit expensive, but they come from America. And so, and it doesn't include po include postage, do you think? Which I think, it's, I think it's pretty good for what it is. I'll link Instagram below. Um, They are such good quality. I have, I've dropped my phone a few times and, I've had, and this is absolutely still in good nick, so. So the next I'm getting out of my bag, out of this first pocket, is some pens. Highlighter and two pens, um, just so I can reach in and grab them. Obviously I use it for, for my, um, studies in college so it's quite obvious and the next thing is this pencil case um i got it for my birthday a few years ago with a book that matches a new book that matches and it's really pretty i'll just show you a close up obviously it's really pretty and i love the design and i love the color and it's quite small so it just shoves in my bag really easily and the next thing is pretty standard for england it's an umbrella all Brits need an umbrella. It rains so much here, so it, this is kind of pretty standard. I don't know where this is from. I think these are meant to be funny coloured apples, but don't quote me on that. I'll just show you a pattern. So obviously this is pretty standard, but you always need an umbrella if you live in England or you visit in England. Okay, so the last thing out of that pocket for, for now is this. And this is my bus pass. Um, I'm having driving lessons. I had like three so far and I have to use the bus to get around. It's not fun. People often smile. It smiles, but it gets me where I want to go. Um, another thing is my student ID. I'm not going to show you a close up because somewhat because it doesn't a it doesn't look like me and b it's a really bad picture. But I have to wear these all wear this all the time. Um, I've got the wrong lanyard thing on. I should have a different one, but you know, use it to get into college and also for um money off. I think if you go to a college or a sex foreman, you get a student ID. It means you can get money off in shops. So if an outfit bags got about three pounds off them, but you know it's better than nothing. Now this is something which doesn't actually live in my bag anymore, but it used to. Um, basically just because of the weather and these are these sunglasses. They were like one pound from Primark. Um, 
so I just took them up, took them in my bag, and they just sat sat in there for um, whenever I needed to put to pop them on. Um, whether I was at college or out, they just sat in my bag. And the last thing from that pocket are these bad boys, my extremely extremely tangled earphones. Um, these are earphones, everyone needs earphones, pretty standard, great for the boys, I'll tell you that now. So the next pocket is the middle one, which is the zip one. Now because of the size, this is where I keep my notebooks or my folder, or my English folder. Pretty convinced my English teacher is single-handedly trying to destroy the rainforest with the amount of printing that he does, but never mind. Um, three, I had all three subjects on Friday, so I have all three of my notebooks. They're just A4 notebooks, you can see how flipping full they are. Pretty convinced that by the time I've, I've left college, I will have destroyed the rainforest with the amount of paper they give me, and I have to use, but pretty standard, I do media, English, and history, um, and yeah. You know, big, thick notebooks. Pretty standard again for an, um, a student. And then the last thing in this middle pocket, which you can see is now empty, is my timetable. Um, we may be nearly at half term, about six weeks into college. By the time you've watched this, it will be half term. By the time you watch this, it will be half term. Still don't know my timetable. Probably won't by the end of the year, but never mind. So the last pocket is this one. Now it's pretty empty because half of it's on the floor in front of me but I'll just get the last thing that's ready in here out and this is King Lear. I am um, honestly I do English and um, for my exam we're doing King Lear. Um, half the book of this copy isn't actually the play but the bits that are the play my teacher makes me write in and it makes me really sad. I'll just show you the inside. It makes me very upset to have to write in books. I hate writing in books. Um, I'm a big reader and like, I love, I don't like folding corners over, I don't like writing in them, I don't like getting messy, but I have to do all of, all of the above for English. It's very annoying, but I just carry this around with me. It's not too heavy, just in case I've got a free and I've got nothing to do and then I can get a few chapters ahead so I actually know what's going on. Because I don't really know what's going on. So, one of the other things which is in my bag is my purse, wrong way. This is a Chuppa Chups purse, I've had this for about five years now. I really, really need a new purse, um, it's really battered but I still find it really cute. It's Chuppa Chups, lollies, don't really use, have lollies but it's really cute. So yeah, out of there. After my purse came my provisional, I'm not going to show you my major other picture because I, like, really want to, I look horrendous in this picture and normally like I want to kill someone. But I started my driving lessons now so hopefully I'm on the way to not having to use the bus anymore. Um, so that's the last thing that's come that I'm showing you out of my purse, I've got nothing else in it. I'm a broke student, pretty typical there. Um, something else that I carry around in my bag most of the time is this. Now it's missing one thing, um, this has been... I found it in a drawer and I keep a concealer. This is just a bog standard one. I think it's it's from Natural Collection. Um, I don't know really why I've got this, but it's just great for having a bag just in case of emergencies because you know what spots are like. You know what red patches are like sometimes. When I'm in college till four, this comes in very handy. And then, as you could probably see, the other thing which is in here now is a very, very broken um, blush powder foundation, not found blush powder, bronzer brush. It's very, very broken. But it does the job. And with that, I use this. And this is one heck of a blot by Sick and Glorious Powder. I love this. Um, I'll just show you a close up and also show you the inside because I have pretty much hit pan. Um, I have quite, I have combination skin, forehead oily, everywhere else dry. So this comes in handy when I'm at college till four and I am very oily because my college is really hot and sweaty, it's not, not nice. 
but see, this comes in very handy. Now, I only have one of these, so I have to keep pulling it out of my bag, putting it in my bag, but I love this. I would really, really recommend this. It's so good, definitely worth the price. I've had it for about two months, but I use it every day. So, hitting pan like that, um, I'm pretty impressed. I'm really impressed with it. I definitely recommend it. Um, one of the other things, well, one of the last things in my bag that's coming out of my bag is from that little pocket there. And it's my keys, which I've got some dinosaurs on. Uh, let's see if I can show you these. It's got, di it's got dinosaurs. One of those, I don't know what they're called. And a meaty bear. Plus my keys, obviously. And then I've also got a memory stick, which is obviously very handy for college, which also has a meaty bear on. And it jingles just because we all have the same memory stick at home. So if mine jingles and has a bear on, it's obviously a bit different than everybody else. Then my mum and dad's, and we're not going to get them mixed up. That would not be fun taking my dad's work memory stick to college with me without my work on. It <laughs> would not be fun. The last thing is this. Um, it's my emergency pack, basically. This is from Covent Garden. It's really pretty. I'll just show you a close up. In here, I pretty much have everything I need for an emergency or for helping myself. The first thing I'm going out is this, and it's Soap and Glory Handmade. It's anti-bite anti gel blending, most incredible Soap and Glory smile. Mum got me one, two of these for Best Winter and Summer. It is amazing, and it smells great. Um, they oh, literally it just does the job after a hot and sweaty day these come very handy in here I also have a mirror my nan got me this I'm not a fan of leopard print but at the end of the day a mirror is a mirror it's nice and small and um, we all need a mirror at the end of the day Um, in here I also have a bobble and a clip which I can't at the moment find and then I have tie rosettes and beachums. Can't find the beachums. These are basically just for throat ache because I've been ill. Basically, just been ill on and off for like the last six weeks. And so these are very helpful when my throat hurts. Sorry about that. That was the phone. So that's basically it from in here. I do have a few things in here, but you probably don't want to see the things that I need for when. Oh my gosh, I Um, but yeah, basically anything else that a girl needs for an emergency is in here. So that's everything that's in my bag. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm sorry if it's a little bit boring. Um, I have tried to include a few more inter different interesting things like the Super Glory things and my sunglasses which I love even though wearing these now would be a bit stupid. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments what else you would like to see. If you maybe Let me know if you'd like to see a film tag. Um, I've got some questions that I might, I might, I'd might like to do. I'd like to answer and do. So let me know if you want to see that. Um, like, subscribe if you do want to see more and you did enjoy this and I'll see you next time. Bye!